Hello Libra and welcome to your reading for March 2022, the month of action. So we're going to cover various areas of your life for this month ahead and there will be a separate twin flame reading this month too, so make sure you check that out. So I'm going to use four decks of Rally Valentine's tarot cards, the Animal Tarot, the Archangel Power Tarot, the Guardian Angel Tarot and the Fairy Tarot to bring you some messages. So we're going to start with some angel guidance for you. So what messages do the angels have for you? I'm going to use the Guardian Angel Tarot for this one. So what angel guidance have you got for this month ahead for Libra, please, angels? What do we need to know? Two cards. So the message is a happy change. Wow, a happy change. So something good is coming in for you in March, a big happy change. And you've got this wreath energy, which is about out with the old, in with the new. It says, your angels have heard your prayers and have bandied together to create real and joyous changes in your life. So whatever you've been asking for and praying about, they have heard your prayers. And the angels are working as a team to bring this to fruition, to bring in this big happy change in whichever area of your life you're wanting it in. It says events begin to move forward and that's powerful because March is the month of action. So things are going to move forward and great progress will now be possible. So you're going to see the results of your actions, things moving forward, things finally falling into place. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust the guidance you receive. So be confident in what you're doing this month. And I love that because this water tiger that came in on the 1st of February has brought with it confidence and strength, saying to you, don't give up, be confident and go for your dreams. And that's what I'm feeling here for you. We've also got the healer of emotion. They give me the word helper too. So, you know, you're being helped from above and your emotions are being healed. So you've been going through a big healing and you're feeling much better about things. You're more in control and, you know, in power of your emotions. This is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. So, you know, if you're feeling a bit sensitive, allow yourself to feel it. Get excited, be happy because big change is coming in. You may feel so compelled to nurture others that you forget to care for yourself. So make sure you've also got time for yourself this month. You know, if you give you, maybe this is the big happy change you've been waiting for working on service. And you've been giving, giving, giving. Now's the time to also give to you. Make sure you've got time for you too. So as flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insight. So Archangel Uriel is going to be illuminating your mind, giving you ideas and inspiration and creative tools to move ahead. And I also feel Archangel Orion around you, the angel of manifestation, to help you create and manifest what you want. But you're going to be feeling healthier and, you know, more in your power regarding your feelings and your emotions and the way you deal with things. And that's also bringing in a big happy change. You or you says you or another person is a kind, tender hearted, loving and trustworthy friend. So you are trustworthy and kind and loving and tender hearted. So you deserve people like that in your life, too. And this may also be some happy changes you're bringing in to bring new people in, to, you know, expand your circle and also to attract in your person when they are fully ready for you. So we're going to bring in some messages about health. I'm going to use the fairy tarot for this one. And we're going to do self as well, health and self. So what do you need to know about your health right now? What's happening with health? We've got six of autumn. The good you do comes back to you. So Again, giving of service, it will boost your vibration. It will make you feel healthier. So I feel that you're making some healthy changes this month. So you could got more time to give to you, more time to give to others, and that will always come back to you. So there's an unexpected inflow of money, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So you're going to feel healthier financially, and that's going to make you feel healthier physically because when we release stress, especially stress about money or circumstances or stability, we feel like a big weight has been lifted off our shoulders. So the message to you is be grateful. What you give out, you get back. Make sure you're giving out goodness and being loving and tender hearted and being true to yourself. 
and you're going to receive back all the great things. So feeling healthier in your world, in your physical world, and that's making you feel better because you're not as stressed and that's what's coming through. So self, and they give me fear, so I feel you're releasing fear, which is also making you feel better. We've got the queen of winter. So in your own self, you're going to feel a lot stronger, more patient, you know, more self-sufficient. You're going to have more energy to laugh and have fun and relax and be at peace with things. It says let go of people or things that no longer serve you. So that's what's working for you this month, letting go of the past, having happy people around you, happy changes. You know, you're making all these changes for your higher good and you're feeling better. So if you are repaying debts and, you know, you're getting finally into the kind of energy where you can have money for you and do things for you and feel like there's no pressure to do things or pay for things, you're going to feel much better. And this is what you've been doing. You've been the one to get yourself into this position, you know, because you were strong and independent. You don't need anybody else to complete you or sort your stuff out because you do it yourself. And that's also satisfying too. It says, now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. So, you know, you may be single right now. You may be waiting for your twin or preparing for your union. But this is a time where you're going to receive lots of guidance and ideas about your career, your projects and your mission ahead. And especially focusing on service. And the angels are reminding you that, you know, right now, if you're single, if you're not married, if you are, you know, you've released yourself from a toxic relationship, it's the perfect time to focus on self. It's the perfect time. And you've got all that to come in your future. So trust the journey, you are safe. So about money, I definitely feel there's going to be some kind of financial increase, some kind of, you know, pressure being released. So this could be about you know, paying off a debt, like the card said there. It could be about more money flowing in or just feeling easier about things in your life. So what else do we need to know about money right now? We've got the sun. Wow, so happiness coming in in your finances. Archangel Uriel, remember, is giving you guidance and inspiration about things to do. And I feel those things will generate money too. So these could be ideas about your business or your mission or your purpose or working on service that's going to generate capital for you. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. So you are an inspiration to others. You are a success and you know your positive thinking is creating positive results. So in money, it's all good. And that will mean that whatever you're doing right now in your career is working out too. So in Korea, we've got two cards jumping out here. Wow. So first of all, there's something really powerful coming in because you've got the Ace of Ariel, but you've also got it with the Peace card. So this is showing you that you're going to feel peace about your work life, your money, finances and your career. Peace is coming in. And I feel this big happy change that the angels are talking about is going to bring more peace into your career and your life. So it's your lucky day. New resources of money, time or support are given to you. A change in job or a promotion. So there's definitely something new coming in that not only brings more to you, but it helps you to find peace and to feel easier about things and, you know, be healthy because you're not as stressed. Release the past. There is more, there is a more enriching future ahead. Let go and let God. So this is the energy where you give it to heaven. And the angels are saying, remember, your prayers have been heard. The angels are banding together to move things forward for you. So I feel this is big, happy changes in every area of your life. So even though we're doing a separate twin flame reading for you, you may want to check that out. What's happening in love? What's happening in love for you? So we're going to use the animal tarot for this one. So what do we need to know, please, angels, for Libra? What's happening with love? Here we go. I've got two cards. One at the, or two at the back I've got. So we've got the moon. So you know, you're releasing illusion. We've got the links there. So this is again about your power, taking your time, not forcing or rushing anything because you're undergoing a great transformation right now. It says it's important to trust your intuition. So in love, you know your truth, you know what you feel and you know that's real. Even if you're unsure of what's happening, all will be revealed soon. So worry is unnecessary. 
So you're being reminded that your prayers are being heard and answered. The angels are working together as a team for you. And there really is nothing to fear. So there's this real peace energy coming in around you this month where you're at peace with the journey. You know, you're letting go, you're letting God, and it's working for every area of your life. And we've got the two of autumn. So, you know, this can also be making a decision. You've got two balls of wool there. Which one are you going to use first? You know, so there could be choices coming up in love here. You know, it could be choices for you. You may think, well, I really want my twin flame, but he's not ready. So maybe there's someone else. Or, you know, this could also be someone from the past returning to you or, you know, you making choices about love. So in other words, you know, most of you are twin flames and you'll be quite satisfied with your twin flame. But this is showing you you have options. And, you know, there may be plenty of options available to you, which may be bringing in confusion this month. You know your truth. You know your intuition. You know if something feels good or not. So do what feels good. You may be under stress because of multiple jobs or too many responsibilities for one person to manage. So in love, you may not even be focusing on love because you're busy focusing on service or career or sorting out your life. So that's also very attractive to your twin because you were not as focused on them. So they feel that shift in energy. It says it's important to balance your work and personal life and bring a spirit of fun to all you do. So there may also be some playful energy coming into your love life because, you know, the cat wants to play with these balls of wool and they give me fear. And on this journey, we can make our love life very serious. You know, we stress, we worry. And the angel's saying your fear, your worries are unnecessary. So be playful. So if you have the opportunity to go out on a date with someone or be with your twin flame, be playful when you're meeting up, be playful. And I'm not saying go on a date, okay? If you're a twin flame and you're, you know, waiting for your divine mask and if you're happy with that energy. This is just saying when you're with your twin, when you're communicating or connecting in the 5D or just be more playful. Don't make it serious because, you know, seriousness sometimes can kill the mood. It says Persian cat, queen of spring. So remember who you are. So this is you because you're feeling at peace and there's all these changes coming in. You're in your power. So you're coming up as the queen of this fire energy here because you're feeling confident and strong. And you are charming, independent, brilliant and talented. And that's how you feel because you are an inspiring success. So you are an inspiration to others. You know, people want to be around you and get to know you because of who you are. It says don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. So in your love life, you can make this happen. Be on that throne there. Be the king or the queen of your own life. Be the star of your own show. Remember your power. This is you taking your power back, giving yourself what you feel is missing from them. You may have several priorities available for you, eyeing for your attention at once, but you can do it. So you can do whatever you're dreaming of. I definitely feel you're very attractive this month. So you've got people attracted to you and interested in you. So you're going to have choices. And because you've got choices, this can also bring up jealousy in your twin flame journey that your masculine has to release because you know, he knows that you are attractive. So what's happening around home? Wow, straight out the depth there. A lot of messages coming through here. First, we've got the three of spring sea turtle. It says, step back or stop to take time to review and make long-term plans, capitalizing upon your past success. So you may be reviewing things when you are at home. So again, big happy changes coming in. You could be deciding to move or you've got a vision of what you want and that's starting to manifest. It's appropriate to put yourself on the back of all of your accomplishments. And he says you may also need patience for the next phase to play out. So he says pat yourself on the back, but put yourself on the back for all your accomplishments. That means sometimes something you want may be on the back burner. But now it's coming to the front of your awareness. So, you know, if you've wanted something previously to do with home, which could be working from home, moving home, redecorating at home, bringing your twin flame to your home. Now things are moving ahead. We've also got the Princess of Autumn. So this is reminding you that it's at home where we learn, you know, we gain knowledge, wisdom, power. You may be reading books or being online, gathering knowledge. You are cheerful, reliable, intelligent and mischievous. So, 
remember to have this playful side this month because it's going to feel attractive to others. A wonderful opportunity coming in related to work or education, such as a promotion or a scholarship, it's coming your way. So seize the chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So again, I feel this change could be connected with working from home, taking your business online, maybe becoming self-employed, doing something you've been dreaming of doing. It's available now. And you've also got the Queen of Autumn, thoughtful, caring, creative and ingenious. So, you know, you are very strong and you can achieve your dreams when you believe. And we've also got this Easter energy coming in too. You know, March we're in now, but coming into April, things are coming into fruition for you. You're going to see results. So as you will be given advice that's both practical and creative, and it should be followed precisely. Focus only upon the positive in every situation or person. So, you know, that's what we can do at home in our love life and our personal journey. You know, see the good in others and remember who you are and maybe bring some yellow energy, which is connected with the solar plexus into the home daffodils. Maybe you've got a bunny rabbit here. But this is showing you you're taking leaps forward on your journey. Things are moving ahead now. And the forest spring is also about, you know, building something for your future. Gliding with this journey, taking your time, relaxing. You know, forest spring connected with home, you're building a future. It's time to look back, relax and celebrate all that you have. It says joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project or a very happy home life. So things are falling into place for you. This is a really powerful, positive reading because it's all connected with big, happy changes. And the final card, oh, look at this too, a summer. This is love, love coming in around home. You know, also, I feel that you're going to receive parrot guidance about your journey, which means the same messages received or given to you over and over again so the messages go in but this is love birds beautiful love birds and you and your twin flame or you and your person whoever you're thinking of you know love birds so a lot of loving energy and that's the happy change bringing love in it says you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship so it's like the angels here have saved the best for last in this reading say this is what's coming when you do everything that you've received the guidance of when you are trusting in heaven and believing and working on you, you're going to bring in everything you want in love. It says marriage or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Don't give up. So, you know, if you feel like your twin flame journey is in distress, or it's going through any big changes, it's happening for you. Don't give up because the best is yet to come. You are love birds and everyone knows it. So this is a great sign about what's coming in towards home, building a future, stability, commitment, everything falling into place because you were loved. And the lovebirds are saying, you know, remember you received the communication from heaven that all is well. Have a great month, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.